I hope you love vintage historical romance shopping because that's what we're gonna do today. Hey everyone, it's April. Uh, I realized that I don't have an intro for this video <laughs> because it was absolutely impromptu. This was actually a day where um, my sister just called me really early and was like, do you wanna go yard sailing with me? And I was like, yeah, sure. Um, and we weren't having much luck yard sailing. So during the day I was like, um, we could go to lunch or you could take me to that used bookstore in town that I've never gone to that I've always said I wanted to go to. And she was like, sure. So that's how this trip all came about. <laughs> I got some amazing books and I can't wait for you to see them. So first I'll take you back shopping with me and then we'll get to the book haul at the end. And I just got so many great vintage historical romances that I'm just like super excited about. So let's take a look. Lucy. Yes, that one. Okay. Must have stuff. Must be cool looking. Petticoats. It's been a while since I left Nobody knows where I went But I think I found my place Don't worry, I'm doing just fine Out in the islands where the time goes A little more my pace I've been floating coast to coast Bahamas to Puerto Rico it don't matter if I'm lost because I know when I'm with you I'm home. When I'm with you I'm home. Just 
us riding waves cuz i know no matter where oh the time <laughs> goes okay how many my face Searching for treasures in okay. my mind. I like this I know story. I'll find <laughs> it because the islands are showing me the way. Oh my god. This is what I'm looking for, Amy. I've been full sprint. Oh, I'm getting it. <laughs> from okay, Cuba I think I to Mexico. It don't matter if I'm lost because I know when I'm with you, I'm The problem is, I get, like, overwhelmed. <laughs> There's horses! The one's even like a horse ghost! It don't matter if I'm lost because I know it don't matter if I'm lost because I know when I'm with you I'm <sighs> Okay, I was not intending to vlog today. Um, however, I went yard sailing today with my sister and a couple of the houses, you know, I never find books there, honestly. Nobody here reads romance, it feels like. <laughs> so I never go out intentionally looking for books but if i find any i definitely want to look at them i think i saw like two or three right yard ceiling and they were in pretty terrible condition so i didn't even get them but but then i was like oh why don't you take me to the used bookstore downtown which i've never been to even though it's like a block from my work um and she's like okay so she took me down to the used bookstore I did some damage. I did some more damage. I went there twice. <laughs> okay, I went there first and I got really overwhelmed and excited. And I only found like a few of these. And then when I got home, I told my daughter that they had Warrior Cats books and she's like obsessed with those. So she was like, mom, can we go back right now? And I was like, sure, why not? We went back and I had a ton of money and credit and I think my daughter got like 10 books and then I got several as well. <laughs> so let me show you what I got because some of these are super cool. This is the first one. Again, I don't know anything about this. This was total cover buys. Cover or step back buys, totally. So this one is called Sweet Passions Pain by Karen Harper. Like, um, say what? <laughs> so this is a medieval romance, it looks like, obviously, because there's like jousting on the back. Uh, I was obsessed and, oh, <gasps> is it signed? It's signed. <gasps> it's signed. Holy shit. <laughs> That's cool as hell. I think I paid like a dollar or two dollars for it. And then I couldn't resist this one, this one because it said pirate on it and it's a Connie Mason. So, And then uh, the step back, of course. So gorgeous. Okay, this was on my second trip. This is Catherine Hart Mischief. And the step back is a saloon. I loved it. And then I was really looking for Catherine Coulter books because I love Catherine Coulter's step back. So I got this one. It says Lord Harry. <laughs> Lord Harry. One of my first novels was originally titled Lord Harry's Folly. It's a two pager and I just like die. I die. Oh my God, there's this guy with a sword. Ah, I just can't, I can't. Okay, this one is just a cover only. This was a cover only by, and every time I see yellow pages, I have to look at it. So this one is Jennifer Blake, and it says, Royal Seduction. Look, look at the house in the back. Oh my God, and the embrace. 
I just cannot. Um, too bad it doesn't have anything else around back, but I just loved the cover of this one. She didn't know what would become of her if her captor tired of her. But until then, she was a slave to the ecstasies of passion. Shut up. Oh, okay, this is another two-pager. <laughs> I love a good two-pager. This is Patricia Gaffney, Sweet Everlasting. So here's the front. And then, bam, the step back. Oh my God, I just freaking die. I love the watercolor. Ah. Let's see, Carrie Wiggins is as shy as she is stunningly beautiful. But the devastating secret that shattered her girlhood has left her terrified of the very love she desperately longs for. Oh my God. An aristocrat and a shy girl. Give it to me. Give it to me. The only Joanna Lindsay that um, I didn't have that was there was like the Dracula looking one. So this is Joanna Lindsay, the joining. And it's this one. I've seen this one all over, but I did not have it. So I was happy to get that. So they, she had like a lot of them, but I already had them. So um, I got to Lisa Kleypas. Now the owner said Lisa Kleypas was one of her favorites. So I got Prince of Dreams. And there's that step back. Um, I have not read this one. And then I got Someone to Watch Over Me, which I love the cutout here. I'm a sucker for that. And then the step back. Gorgeous. I'm such a sucker. I'm such a sucker. I haven't bought historical romances like vintage ones in a while. And I was like, I need to get me some more. Okay, then I got a couple Virginia Henleys. And I hadn't seen these before, but they look both medieval. Yeah, they both look medieval. And I haven't really even read a medieval before. But this is Virginia Henley, A Woman of Fashion. And this is the cover. I thought it was like a reprinted one but it did, it did have a step back and it's gorgeous. I love the medieval aspect of this. Okay, three more because my husband's out here. And then another Virginia Henley, the marriage prize. This one has like a cool matte cover and it has like, I don't know how to describe it, but there's that one. Again, medieval, I love it. My two favorites that I got. <laughs> Um, this is Cheryl Henke, Hank, Cheryl Hank, I don't know, deep as the rivers. So this is the, the cover and then it's a two pager. Ah, I die. I freaking die over this. I cannot. I just cannot. Like, I need to know what this is about. Deep as a frontier sky. <laughs> and I think my favorite one from this whole haul is a Laverle Spencer and it's a Vows. So it's another one of these with the cutout on the side. So it has this cutout. And then, oh my God. Oh my God. Kill me now. Kill it out. I just freaking love it. Oh my God. Yeah. Again, don't know anything about these. One kiss could change her forever. Love it. Anyways, those are all the books I got. <laughs> and I apparently also forgot to film an outro. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little book shopping vintage thrift haul. Um, let me know if you saw any that you think I should go back and get. <laughs> or any that I need to be looking for for the next time I go. So as always, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye.